everybody, Cindy A. Lewis here. Welcome to Crafting Therapy. It is Crafting Therapy 110. I'm glad you're here. Today we're going to be working on the uh, junk journal for this month, which is the Dollar Tree book that is the Altered Book Junk Journal. And uh, we took all the pages out already and I put a one cover on and I really still like um, the canvas print from Rustic Playgrounds Travel Junk Journal Kit, which you can get uh, with my discount, uh, Cindy. And it's 50% off your first year in the Vintage Visionaries Club, if you're interested. It's also on her Etsy shop at Rustic Playground and Etsy. Okay. So anyway, I did one cover and I've never been totally satisfied with it. So I'm going to change it today. And I will tell you, I'm kind of um, in and out with my voice. So if I back off a little bit, you'll know why. And uh, we're going to jump in. I'm going to show you my thoughts and we're going to put it together. It will be mixed media, but we're going to do it step by step. So I hope you will uh, check out the September 1st video where uh, the junk journal uh, mystery box giveaway is. So you got to go check that out. September 1st is linked below. Yes. And uh, let's jump in. All right. This is the cover and I had some other pieces on it. But I took those off. I did leave the uh, title plate or name plate here. It is not sealed, so um, the title can go in there. But we're gonna play with this a bit today. So I'm gonna set that aside for the moment. And these uh, hot air balloons inspired me. So we're gonna use some of these on there, but I wanted a bigger one to go off the side here. So I kind of hand drew off of looking at these a little um, sketch. And I'm, I've got a foam board here that I'm going to cut it out of to do our mixed media. So I'm going to trace this on here. And then we're going to use a straight edge to cut it out of the foam board. And this doesn't have to be perfect. Um, it is going to be covered up. So you won't really see... Um, the ink or anything like that, even if I don't get it all cut away. But I wanted it going off the edge because I want it going off of the spine. All right, so that is going to be the large hot air balloon, and then I have those small ones. So I've got my um, cutting mat here. I've got it upside down, so let's flip it for you. Doesn't really matter, I guess. And I'm just gonna use a straight edge and I'm just gonna go over and I'm gonna take my time with it, but I'm just cutting it. And it's good uh, just to mention here that if you uh, have the sharp one, you want a sharp one, and then take your time because you don't want to, um, you don't want you know, it to look funky, although you can cover up all the edges. So like, we'll, we'll fix that. All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and cut out my hot air balloon. All right, so I've got my hot air balloon all cut out and I've got a scoring tool here. As you can see, there are little uh, segments that indicate the hot air balloon wires or ropes and then your uh, design on your different hot air balloon and so what I want to do is simulate that a little bit just sometimes you don't have to be exact with what you're doing but you can um, just give the impression of so we've got our our basket here and I'm just going to put some indentions in here just to simulate a little bit of a um, basket. And then we come up here and I don't want to mess up the paper so much that's on top of the foam, but I want to um, just give some ropes, 
some indentions here for the ropes. And I know you might not can see it that well because of the lighting, but I will bring it down or up to you so that you can see those indentions. And then up here, I think, I think I might, well, maybe we'll go with this one. Just something simple, just some kind of little simple hot air balloon here. So we'll just do that. And then you kind of have your balloon here. So let's just do like one more line here just to give it a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, a little bit. All right. Okay. So now what we want to do is we're going to take what we want on our cover. We're going to hide this underneath here because we already have that on. And so what we wanna do is we're gonna glue this on. You have to determine where you want it. I do wanna put a couple of these on, and then I have some charms over here that I'm gonna add. So I have my, um, also have my other pieces that I had put on already so that we can use those. So what I'm wanting is dimension, not necessarily the colors. And so we'll glue this on, glue that on, and then we're gonna use some black gesso, some gilding wax, some ink. I'm gonna use the blue and the brown, and we're gonna see if we can get sort of a cool look. Plus, I also have this um, burlap. Oh, it's stuck to that. I have this burlap sort of a ribbon. I wanted a smaller one, but I couldn't find my smaller one. So I might use this for the bottom. I'm not totally sold yet, but I also might just cut it in half. So you're seeing me in my creative process here. So I do kind of like that better. Should put that at the bottom and at the top. Like this. Or I could do it this way. So it's the same on both. And then I thought about doing it on the side, but I don't think I need to. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything in place where I want it. And then we're going to have some fun with the gesso and the waxes and colors. I'm hoping. <laughs> okay, so let's glue this down first. So I'm just gonna put some hot glue on here. Now the um, the other medium that I'm gonna use will help it to stay together as well. Now I want to make sure I can open and close this without any trouble, so we'll put that there. Okay, because of that hinge, I don't want to mess up that, but it opens and closes just fine. Okay, so then we're gonna put this here at the bottom and I'm just gonna run some glue here. And which way did we want it? We'll just do it this way. That hot glue is really hot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna put that underneath. You don't wanna do anything with that. Okay, make sure you can see. All right, then we're gonna glue this at the top. All right, you know, I was just not happy with what I came up with before, and um, I really wanted to get that cover on, and I love the canvas, but changed my mind, and that's okay. You can change your mind. All right, so I'm just going to put a little hot glue on this as well, just little dots, just to kind of help it to stick. Mm -hmm want it to be a little bit more secure on that canvas than just the little adhesive that's on the back of it. So I wanna give it a little boost. Okay, then here at the bottom, I wanted to add some different things, like we're gonna be using some of the uh, steampunk look. We've got our little train that I had almost said no I'm not gonna do that but we're gonna do that so 
So let's just put some hot glue over here. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna build a little, I don't know what you call it, a little stack of gears. gesso just the most fun thing to use or white gesso when you want to do a mixed media type project and so it's just a primer it's just something you use to add um, you can add dimension with it or you can just use it as a primer but what I want to do is I want to go over this whole thing here with the black and I'm gonna go around the sides and I'm gonna add the black to the, the spine a little bit here where the hinge is. We're gonna add the black to the burlap. And we're gonna add it all around the edges. And if you haven't played with mixed media before, I invite you to do that because it is so fun and there's really just no mistakes. All right, so we're gonna go over this whole thing, all of our charms. We're gonna save that at the top so it doesn't get all that on it. But we are covering everything up. Now I am covering up my canvas but the canvas also adds some texture. So I did change my mind, but we can do that. So I'm just gonna keep doing this and I will show you um, as I go. Okay, so I've done a lot of covering here and just leaving some of the idea of that canvas behind there. You can see it's not completely covered like paint or anything, but you could if you wanted to do that. So I'm gonna close up the gesso. And this is drying, um, but I do wanna mix in some color with it. And I wanna mix in the silver gilding wax, the copper. I wanna mix in some blue ink. And then I do have my brown distress oxide if I want to play with that as well. So I'm gonna let this set for just a few minutes. It's pretty much drying pretty quickly and we're gonna play with it a little bit more. All right, as you probably realize, I'm a little impatient sometimes. We're gonna go ahead and start playing with the colors and the wax. So uh, one thing, one point, you do want to seal your wax uh, well and for it to last as long as possible. Now, one thing that I have was taught and you should do, take, as much, take some out, take it off and spread it on um, your paper or your glass surface, whatever you're using as a palette, and then just rub it on. You can always add more but it's hard to take it away once you get it on there. And, you know, that kind of thing. So we're gonna add some of this silver, and you can see I, I'm impatient, so I haven't been waiting well. And it's some of it's still kind of wet. But you can see how the color comes on. You can see my lines here. For my hot air balloon. Taking some of that black off. 
Get a little more silver. Now I'm going to add a silver throughout. If you saw my secrets box, um, you can see kind of the idea to add and make it look almost metal. Do a little bit more. Now this nameplate was a vintage gold, but we're giving it a little makeover as well. Now it, it does give the idea of metal, which is a cool thing, being that most of this is not metal. Okay, then I may want some more silver to come back, but we're gonna go into the copper, and the copper is really cool. I may not need the brown. The copper is a really cool color. And again, it's the gilding wax. So we're gonna add this copper to it. That makes it look old. Gives it that aged look. And if you find that you don't like what you've come up with, then you can always go back over it and start again. So you probably thought, oh, she's covering up those pretty hot air balloons, and, and now what is happening? So I really like this so much more than what I had, just kind of plain. Now, I'm okay with plain a lot of times, but I really have fun with this stuff. Okay, plus I like dimension. All right, I think I like that. I'm going to take a little of this ocean blue ink and see if I can add some blue to it. Let's see. Okay. I want to be careful. Oh, yeah. put any of this onto the ink pad. Oh yeah, it's looking good. What do you guys think? Can you see the blue? Might should have got a pigment ink. Yeah, oh, look at that. Adding that blue. And then I want to add some blue in here. See if I can get that blue. Now you could probably do this with some paint as well. Can you see how the blue adds a little bit of a different tone? I'm much more satisfied with this look. I love the idea of the travel, bringing in the steampunk, bringing in some fabrics and some canvas, the metals, and this you might not even know that that's not metal. And you know, the idea of, so it does need some letters, which I might, you know, put some in here. I've got to find the right size. I think I do have some with my secrets letters, but just to show you that um, so far, let me, let me see if I do. All right, I did find my letters, so I'm gonna glue them on and paint them to go with the rest of the journal, and I think it'll look cool. I think I like it right there, don't you? And so it blends in with the rest of it. So I can take my, my black gesso and go over the letters and then go over the letters 
to um, bring in all the gilding wax to make it look the same. So perfect. Thank you for helping me think of that. Actually, I would have thought of it, but I just wasn't sure how it would all lay out. I have to kind of work with it. Does anybody else have to do that? Okay. So I got those all painted pretty quick. Make sure. And then we'll finish those off in a minute. All right, here we go. Got some of the silver on here. We want to bring out those letters. When I bring out those letters, oh yeah, 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 love it. All right, then we want to take some of the copper. We want to add to that, right? We like that. Perfect. And there we go. I think it looks amazing. Amazing. I hope you like it. It's completely different than it was, and I needed to work on it. And I just wasn't sure what I wanted. And so there we go. Now we have the cover for the altered book journal. All right. So next time we'll do some page ideas with some card I from card construction. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching.